Hey everybody, this is Peyton Hatch. Uh, another quick tips and tricks video for like a Captivate. If you are running version 9.0 or above with a valid CCP, there is now the ability to live stream a background map into your collector. Uh, so in the past, if you've wanted to have an aerial image, you've had to snip the image and go you know, from files. You had to have your images in here. I don't have one for this area or you had to have your own WMS service. And we could hit add and we could add, you could create your own WMM, WMTS or WMS. So thankfully Liga now has one available. You can go out and just pull from. And you'll see here with the Esri background map, I can now live stream an aerial imaging. So how, how do we get this? So what you need to do is Get your controller on the internet and go to settings, tools, regional configurer. This is a tool that came in in 8.0 or 8.5. We've been able to add to it. It's, it's like as cloud service built into your data collector. Some of the functions are based off your CCP. And we'll get out here to the regional configurer and we will be able to download coordinate systems for the entire country, background maps, geoids, just about anything. Now, if, if this is your very first time bringing in the regional configurer, it will not open up into any country. It'll open up directly to the, the main page here that shows all the countries. Now, I am in the United States, so I'm gonna go down here to USA, and I'm gonna click on the folder and hit open. And from here, I can go to all the different states. So if I open up USA General and hit open, when you open up the USA General, you'll get all the options for the UTM zones, reference frames, but there is a new web service list right here. So I'll open up the web service list and I'll just click this checkbox right here and I'll hit download. Now it should already be in here. I, I'll probably get an error message with this. Ah, it went through, no big deal. Just overrode the last one. And what that will do is when you go to your 3D viewer, and you go to your background maps, it will, from you go from web services, it will give you these two options. Now the Esri World Imaging, sometimes you get an initial error saying, hey, there's no map to display. If that happens, just open up one of the street maps, and press OK, and that will load up the street map, and then give you the ability to go back in and load the world map. See, I have had it error out on me a few times with new installs on the world imagery. All right, so now that we switch back to Esri world imagery, press OK, it'll stream an aerial. Now, one of the things that there are different layers for the map views. And if I go to background maps and I open up the street terrestrial, you see here I have two of them. There's multiple layers here and I can go to layers and I can pick and choose which background I get. So I can turn off this one and I can go turn off this one, say, I only want to see this WMS. So we'll see what this one looks like. All right, so this is the, the one of the first of 11, how it pulls in. If you don't like that one, no big deal. Just go to your layers and, and play with these. They don't all work in all areas. Uh, but I, I have found that I believe it's this one right here is one of my more favorite ones for the DFW area. Yeah, I like this one right here. Gives me the gives me the road. Okay, we'll just zoom in. Oh, barcode. There it goes. It's reloading. So it is a live streaming. Background maps. Let's go back to the imagery. There's going to be a slight shift in the imagery, but it's pretty darn good. Say so it does overlay really well with the islands of the parking lot. So not perfect, but hey, it's there. And as long as you got an active CCP, you're good to go. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.